This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in this particular video, I'm going to cover that how to generate good uh, Mocha report, a good HTML report, which is very, very important because we have seen so many test cases, but the reporting part is still we are missing. So by default, uh, Cypress, we have already seen, it will generate a very good console report like this. You can, you must have seen earlier, right? In my previous videos. But what about the HTML report? So for HTML report, right now we are using the Mocha framework for writing our test cases and everything. And then the Mocha also provides some uh, Mocha reporting uh, uh, packages also that is called Mocha Awesome Report. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to download uh, three important dependencies. One is one Mocha Awesome. Second one is uh, a Mocha Awesome Merge. And the third one is, I'll tell you that uh, Mocha Awesome Report Generator. So these three important dependencies, you have to use that. And with Mocha Awesome, you can generate some really good report. You can see it over here like this in the form of HTML and everything, you can see that, right? So what we have to do first, we need to add these uh, three packages. So I'm just quickly uh, download this. So simple first download this. Okay, I'll share these URLs in my description also. Don't worry about that. And uh, let me quickly come over here and then run this thing. So npm install uh, hyphen hyphen uh, dev dependencies and then you have to add this so much awesome will be added over here second thing is that uh, you have to add this guy uh, much awesome merge so let's add as a save uh, dependency and when you run it so once again much awesome merge got added over here and it will automatically take the latest uh, version and then we have to take this one also so for this what you can do you can pick uh, this one okay so npm install manage the osha uh, mocha awesome report generator so let's uh, take this and i'll do one thing i'll add as a save hyphen hyphen save dev dependency so or let it be like this let it uh, download globally with minus g okay <clears throat> so without uh, save dependency if you add it it will not be added over here but it's now available in my system in this particular report got added over here right now these are the three important packages you have to do that and they will then we will generate a very good report with the help of these three packages but the most important package is this mocha awesome you have to install it after that <clears throat> what you have to do that uh, you have to go to your cypress.json file and cypress.json says that okay this is your project configuration okay that what is the timeout you want to give what is the page load timeout to okay the global timeout you want to configure over here or something like this you can do that you remember that we did Chrome Web Security also, default timeout you can give, execution timeout, page load timeout, request timeout, response timeout, such configuration you can do that. But ignore these configurations, you directly come to the report configuration. You need to add one reporter that, hey, which report I'm going to use it? I'm going to use Mocha Awesome. Reporter options, these are different options you want to use. Let's see a report directory, in which directory you want to generate the report. So I want to generate the report in this particular Cypress report directory. My report file name will be report.html. I want to overwrite my previous report, yes. So let's make it true. HTML true, JSON true, charts true, like that. I don't want to generate my videos. So fine, you want to don't want to generate, so let's make it false. So this is this video false is not part of your reporting, but you can find all these options available over here. So I just picked all these options from here only. You can see that. Okay. Now this is the second configuration that you have to do that. So after that, okay, perfect. Now, now you just execute one single test and let's see the, rep uh, the report, HTML report is getting generated or not. So I'll do one thing and that this particular, my test, I'm going to execute one single test. So let me write, you remember this particular command, uh, node modules bin Cypress run spec Cypress integration folder, my test drop down underscore test.js. So let's say I'm going to execute this one drop down underscore test.js which is having some test cases like that the drop down feature and all those things right or let's pick some small test let's say i pick amazon underscore search that will be quick so i'll quickly write that uh, amazon underscore search dot js okay and browser equal to chrome so let's run it and let's see it is uh, executing my test cases and then we will see it's generating a report also for this particular test or not. So let's run it and let's see. So yeah, my tests are getting triggered. 
and uh, it's a very simple test okay i think it's perfect done so by default you see that okay this is the kind of report it's generating that okay you have an amazon search dot js and uh, all specs okay got passed you can see it over here the kind of basic report provided by cypress so this is your console report right now this guy says that okay it's already generated report over here report.html over here you can see that okay it will generate the report over here like that report html and it will generate one report.json also so if someone wants to use the json file you can do that now but you do one thing you come over here let's see this is my project you just refresh this particular project and when you refresh it you will see that uh, one uh okay just a second it's saying okay let me just refresh this okay sometime it's not visible over here you can see that report folder got generated under this particular reports you have this report.html so whatever the configuration that you have given guys cypress folder and reports folder is there right and under that report.html got generated whatever the name that you have given so report.html so i do one thing right click on it and copy the path and then you just simply come over here and then run it in your browser can you see that this amazon search based test got executed and this is a chart how many test cases got passed fail and everything and you can see that okay yeah all the test cases got passed over here and you see that okay this is my uh, search test over there but what i have written over here in the configuration i have written overwrite equal to true it means overwrite the previous reports so whatever test that we have what kind of test we have we have amazon okay amazon uh, search.js so i'll check what are the different test cases were there in amazon search.js so you can see that okay we were having amazon okay amazon search app and the search test is there so you can see that amazon search and search test is there so this is your describe and this is your it block will be visible how much time it took like that so very simple report got generated like this it took around five seconds like that right now the thing is let's execute some more okay test cases over here so you can execute the test cases from a different folder also let's say i want to execute all these test cases so i can execute directly from the entire my test so i'll do one thing i don't want to execute for all the test cases it will take some time so i'll do one thing that uh, under this particular integration folder i'll create one more folder over here that okay let's see this is my sample test right and under this particular sample test i'll pick some three test cases random test cases let's see like this the three test cases i'll pick and i just uh, move these test cases over here under sample test folder perfect so sample test folder is available like this now i'm going to execute these three test cases okay from this particular folder directly from this particular folder not individually right guys and let me re uh, remove this particular reporting folder also so let's uh, delete them okay it's done and uh, we have this output.html also that i'll tell you later just delete that also okay right now we don't have any video because video is false perfect let's run it again so i'm going to run it clear the console and this time now see what i'm saying is go to where integration folder and from integration folder you go to sample uh, test and i simply write star.js it means execute all the tests which are available under sample test folder like that and then let's run it okay so ignore this particular warning and three test cases should be executed so yeah got it started on google chrome and then we will see the report and remember one thing that kind of configuration that we have given under cypress.json it's override equal to true and we have three test cases over here amazon search amazon test and automation practice test.js so let's see so let it run it will be very fast yeah apple macbook it's done and then we have one more test that are okay that is for automation practice test.js so yep let it run okay it's going to log in and yeah so I'm not bothered about the test case is getting passed or failed. I'm just bothered about test cases are getting executed or not. So yeah, it's done. You can see the report. Console report is that, yeah. Uh, you have three specs. Specs mean test cases. One is Amazon search, Amazon test, and then automation practice test.js. And total five test cases got passed over here. Right, guys? 
and now you see the report section report got generated over here and you will see that okay only one report dot html got generated and let's just refresh this page once again and then you see that okay one report dot html got generated and let's refresh your report dot html once again over here now you see what you see the problem is automation practice feature testing is coming it means the last one the last test you can see automation practice feature testing why it actually overriding last two test cases that is the problem if you write cypress.json overwrite equal to true right so it's not a cool thing right because i want to see all the reports so it will not generate individual reports now it will what exactly it will do it will overwrite last two reports so let's say you have executed 50 test cases from different 50 files so if you write overwrite equal to true it will override all the previous 49 test cases or test in, uh, 49 test reports that's why you see that okay i can see only the latest report and then all the previous reports are gone so that's why what i'm going to do let's make this override equal to false now okay so let's make this particular override equal to false because i want to maintain my previous reports or previous test report also now let's remove this guy once again report and delete this guy fine and uh, let's run it again from here it will not take much time let's run it again and then let's see what kind of reports it is generating for three test cases with override equal to false okay so yep first test amazon search okay this is done second one is amazon test which is also very quick okay this is also done now the third one is a little lengthy test case that is automation practice it will go to home page and it will search <coughs> okay so first it's going to log in perfect okay then it will go to home page and then yeah right okay so three test cases are done and again three test cases got passed over here and then you refresh your project and then you see the report section now this time you you see there are three html report and three json reports can you see that report 001 report 002 like that you are getting it and the report.html the final report right so what i'm going to do that okay let's go to this particular report a uh, folder so let's see copy path and come over here and you see that okay three reports are getting generated so you see the first report you see amazon page test so that is for our first test that is amazon search test whatever amazon search app or whatever is there search page or page test you go back let's see the second report second report automation practice feature testing okay and let's see the third report it's saying okay amazon search app so three reports are getting generated three htmls are getting generated like that and that is what i want and along with that it will give you the json also in this particular json it will have all the information about at what time it got started what is the status or someone wants to use that particular uh, you know json report to generate some other report okay that also you can use that if you don't want to use that okay you just simply ignore it or you can go to your cypress.json file and you can simple json equal to false also you can write it okay so html and json are getting generated and you can see the report this chart this can you see that is pie chart is also coming because of this chart equal to two it means all my test cases got passed but again the problem is it's like tomorrow you have 50 test cases it means 50 html files or 50 json file will be created which is again quite noisy for me because i have to keep you know clicking on it tomorrow you have 500 test cases so i want a i want a combined report i want to merge all the reports together so with this only with much awesome you cannot do that so that's why we need this other thing is that is called merging tool much awesome merge and when you merge it then you have to generate the report okay like this much awesome report generator you have to use that so how to use this now so the dependency that we have already added now see it carefully what i'm going to do that you go to your uh, package.json and here you have to add a script over here okay so i'm going to add a script and then let me add the script name is whatever the script name that you want to write let's say i'm going to write 
merge my script okay merge my reports and here what you have to write you write mocha awesome okay guys mocha awesome okay merge and uh, cypress folder go to the reports folder okay one second yeah reports and from this particular reports what do you want it means whatever the json file that you have collected all these one two and three three json file that okay you pick so simple write star.json and then what do you want it means then you generate a combined report so put this bracket and then i'll be generating a combined report cypress uh, reports and then i'll be generating the final output.json so i simply write let's see output.json like that so you have to use it like this guys okay so let me check make sure that okay there is no spelling mistake so i'm simple writing mocha awesome hyphen merge cypress reports uh, star.json it means uh, under this particular report section okay pick all these json files star means pick all the json files and then generate one output.json over here okay like that and then the second thing what you have to do you have to what after merging so this tool will just merge and then after that you have to generate it so how will you generate with the help of report generator so i'm going to use i'm going to create one more script you can write anything my merge my reporting merge whatever the name you want to give you can use that okay these are the just the short short scripts of the your test scripts now i'm going to say that okay this is let's see generate underscore uh, whatever um awesome underscore report okay and then this is the name that i have given now how exactly you want to uh, do that so in that case what you have to do you simply write uh, merge cypress okay go to your reports folder and uh, whatever the file that you have generated this file output.json file that you have generated right and then simple write report directory space go to this and hyphen hyphen in line command you have to use that okay and uh, yeah so that's it so let me check uh, cypress report output dot uh, json and then report dir and dot this and inline okay so i'll send you this particular command don't worry about that and then after that you simply execute this particular command so how will you do that so first you have to execute merge and after merge you have to execute this guy so let's execute this first merge so how will you execute this so, so this is the shortcut you don't need to execute this entire command you just execute this merge command how to do that so these are the i simple write let's see npm run and uh, simple merge whatever the name that you have given over here right and let's run it so it's saying that okay output.json got created can you see that output.json got created so you can see that uh, one output.json got created over here under report section so this is my report you open that and uh, output.json got created over here it means it will just merge everything together all three test cases okay and then it will generate a common json file output.json file okay that whatever that you have given over there now go back to your package.json after that you have to execute this guy the second command so either you execute this entire command or you just execute the shortcut okay now i'm going to execute how to do that npm run and then generate mocha awesome report it means from this output.json please generate one or uh, report over there so when you run it it's saying report saved in the form of output.html so it will generate one final output.html over here you can see that okay in your folder and you right click on it and uh, copy the path okay and then go to the folder over here like this and see awesome so now see can you see that all three reports got generated over here perfect right so 
Amazon search ad, Amazon page test, and automation practice feature testing got generated. And you can see that. And you can see that, okay, these are the menu items. Show pending, show failed, and all those things also. You can see that. This is a summary like that. Perfect. Okay. So this is pretty cool. And you can see that, uh, you know, all the commands, although the script also, what are the script that, okay, you are using it. You can simply see that over here for each and every test. So guys, simple Mocha Awesome will help you to generate the report, but you have to merge all the individual, uh, you know, testing reports, test cases reports, and then finally you have to generate the report like this, right? Now, this is again, again and again, I have to do this, like merge and then generate. So we, that also we can ignore that. That also we can write a single command over here like this, put a comma, and then whatever the name you want to give. So let's say I say that, okay, hey, final underscore report like this and then what you want i want to do that okay npm run merge npm run merge and then and and run after this also because this is my first step right we have to generate output.json and after that we have to generate the report and then i say that okay npm run this guy okay so this is how uh, okay uh, in javascript in package.json we can merge multiple npm commands like that okay and then you just don't need to execute uh, okay merge and generate you simply execute this final report command whatever the name you want to give if you want to give test also you can write it whatever the name it's up to you so let's say i've generated final report right now let me clear the console and let me delete everything from here so it's a good practice whenever you want to uh, let's see whenever you want to do something okay generate the report and everything so please delete the previous okay reports from here so let me delete that let me delete that output.html also and we will run once again so simple delete that and now what i'm going to do that uh, i'll add some more test cases over here so let me pick some more so we'll see some more reports right guys so let's see this guy also we will take it and just i'm moving to sample test.js over here right and let's run it so sample test.js and let's run it. It means uh, three plus two, five plus two, seven test cases. I mean, seven test files should be executed. And in these uh, test files, we have uh, different uh, test cases are written. And then we should generate the report individually and then we will <clears throat> merge the report and then we will generate the final report. I know it's little little configuration is required, but guys, it's very simple, very easy. You just please do it. It's not that very straightforward, but yeah, I mean, it's not rocket science also. So let it run all the test cases one by one. You can see that, okay, yeah, it's running one by one. So I was exploring this Moja Awesome. I was not uh, very much sure about it, but I found this and then uh, I did my own uh, research and then I practiced, I mean, first time and then because for me also, this is the first time using this much awesome report. Okay, so yeah, and this is very pretty, uh, pretty cool report. A lot of people are using. I have discussed with a couple of people, okay, from uh, who are actually already using Cypress, and they say that okay, yeah, they are also using Cypress for their practice and for their projects. So one quick thing, guys, I would like to tell you one thing that okay, don't compare right now that Cypress with selenium in terms of okay market capture market capture is still with selenium you might be possible that okay you won't see much jobs with the uh, uh, with cypress but this is emerging tool definitely they will hit the market very soon in the market that's good to have such kind of tools okay in your bucket so and it's very pretty easy and uh, and uh, it's it's fun actually okay initially i was a little skeptical about uh, cypress but now i think i'm liking it okay when i'm practically using it there are some limitations let's see you cannot execute in a parallel mode or something like this okay that uh, you have to do your take their pricing uh, version for that so uh, yeah that thing and frames and tabbing features and move to a different window and all those things are not available but i hope they will improve this feature also but anyway so i think that's almost uh, done yeah mouse over is still there okay See, test cases are absolutely working fine so far okay maybe here and there one or two test cases will be failed but let's see yeah so see this 
this is a statement report total test cases are 12 and two pending because we were those were skipped test cases and zero failure now what i'm going to do you go back to your uh, this guy package.json now no need to do all these things individually merge and all those things you simple write final report generate final report so how will you do that clear the console simple write npm run final report it will automatically do <coughs> both the things together it will automatically generate uh, this output.json and from this output.json it will automatically generate this output.html and you see the report also that for all the test cases we have individual reports and uh, yeah and then final output.json got generated and then we have output.html got generated now we will just uh, copy the path and let's come over here perfect see all the reports are coming perfectly right guys you can see the summary also that okay yeah uh, 10 test cases got passed okay we don't have any zero failures we have uh, two skipped test cases these are the skipped test cases and yeah these are the past test cases you can see that and you can see their test code also whatever the test code that we have written okay everything you can see it over here like that perfect see this is something really cool you can immediately check it okay hey uh, where exactly the problem what kind of code that you have written you can match within the script so this is something pretty cool and here you can see the menu items also you can see all the reports are generating over here it's saying show pending also yeah you can include show failed also you can include show skip also you can include like that you can filter it out also like that for hooks okay so perfect so this is the kind of report i was talking about okay so i hope and this is the cypress practice youtube means that is your project name that you have written over here the same project name will be visible over here and then the same thing you can integrate later on with uh, CICD pipeline or Jenkins or everything. And from there, it will automatically generate the report like that. Right? So that's all for this particular video, guys. I hope you liked it. Please do it. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll do one thing. I'll just push the code. So let me just check. Let me just quickly push the code, get a status. Okay. Yeah, there are so many files that we have done. Right? So let me clear the console. And uh, I'll do one thing that uh, get quickly add it get uh, status clear the console that get commit minus am added awesome reports okay and let's push it so get push origin master so i'm going to push and uh, yeah it's done now this repository you can go to my github page you simply go to github navin animation 20 and go to repositories and search for the cypress different examples and here you will see that uh, package.json and cypress.json both the things you will be finding and you can see 31 seconds ago that much awesome report that we have added and all those commands that i have written you will be seeing over here so you can clone this particular project or you can directly copy paste from here directly okay perfect yeah? this is a new look look and feel of uh, github perfect nice okay guys so that's all for this particular video thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation labs and if you like this particular video please click on subscribe button and share this particular video with different people so that people will get to know about the importance of this tool thank you so much thanks for watching this video